The heavyweight division is thriving in 2019, with Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury and others dominating at the top. But the next wave of contenders are hot on their heels, hoping to step up and break through in 2019. Let's take a look at the best of the bunch that are coming through. Buckle in. Let's go. Hello everybody. This is Ifia Jagba, the one and only. The Nigerian nightmare Fia Jagba has been running through his competition with relative ease so far, and he's even had one opponent walk out of the ring before he could even throw a punch. The 6 foot 5 heavy hitter who has a monstrous 88 inch reach is generating as much buzz as any current heavyweight prospect, scoring mostly first round knockouts in his career to date. Given he's only in his mid 20s, a Jagba could be a big problem for a long time in the heavyweight division once he's got more experience behind him. Expect to see the knockouts continue in 2019 as he slowly moves up his level of competition. Daniel Dubois is regarded as one of the biggest punches coming through in the prospect ranks, and he's made short work of most of his opponents so far. But his fight against the durable Kevin Johnson showed you need more than just heavy hands the higher that you climb in the division. But the good news is Dubois is only in his early 20s, so still has time to improve and hone his technique, footwork and punch variety. There's a lot to like about the 6 foot 5 Brit and how far he might go if given enough time to develop into the fighter many believe he may become. The French heavyweight and Olympic gold medal winner from Rio, Tony Yoka, is one of the most intriguing fighters around with his mix of height, skills and athleticism. It's rare to see a guy of his size at 6 foot 7 move like he does and in his win over Dave Allen in 2018, he showed he possesses power and can put the hammer down when he wants to. His career momentum has been held up momentarily from a 12-month ban from the French Federation for missing doping control testing, but with his level of talent, this should just prove to be a blip on the radar. I'm going all in for Joker to have a big couple of years. The man Yoka beat in the gold medal fight at the 2016 Olympics, Joe Joyce, is also primed for a big 2019 and beyond, being fast-tracked through his prospect phase due to being in his 30s. In his short career thus far, Joyce has proven too much for the opposition put in front of him, winning the Commonwealth title in his fourth fight, demonstrating that he packs a real punch and guys go down when banged on the chin. Now that Joyce is working under Abel Sanchez in America, he's further honing his skills and trying to minimize his shortcomings. But make no mistake, Joe Joyce comes to fight and the punches come raining in for as long as it lasts. The bronze medal winner from Rio, Filip Hergovic, possesses the talent and desire to go a long way in the heavyweight division. The 6'6 Croatian fighter has solid fundamentals, a fluid style and possesses good power as he showed knocking out Amir Mansour in three rounds and dropping Kevin Johnson. The versatile Hergovic has already worked his way into multiple sanctioning body rankings following a limited amount of fights and 2019 could prove to be a massive year for him. And the danger now is can his promoter secure the type of opponents that Hergovic needs to progress to the next level and work his way into a title position. But regardless, time is on the Croatian fighter's side as he's just in his mid-twenties, so sooner or later this well-schooled and versatile fighter will be in the title mix. The other bronze medalist from Rio, the talented Ivan Deitchko, could also crawl out of the shadows in 2019. Big things have been expected from the massive 6 foot 9 Kazakh fighter who also medalled at the London Olympics but his pro career to date has gone well under the radar. The Florida based Daichko, who's well schooled and moves remarkably well for a man his size, looks poised for a breakout year if given the right opportunities at the right time. In late 2018, he helped prepare Deontay Wilder for his fight with Tyson Fury, and the Wilder camp praised the work that he put in to prepare Wilder. The old saying is they don't teach height and Daichko has more than most at 6 foot 9, and if he can put it all together with his movement and all round skills, he could feature prominently in the division in the coming years. 
One of the most exciting heavyweight prospects on the rise is hulking Russian Auslanbek Makhmadov, who's fighting out of Canada. The six foot five and a half Russian knockout artist has been making short work of his opponents, and even stopped the durable journeyman Jason Bergman in one round. 2019 shapes as a potential coming out party, with his fan friendly style likely to win over more fans and turn even more heads. There doesn't appear to be too many who hit harder than Makhmadov, so enjoy the ride as he looks to continue his streak of knockouts. A prospect who came out of nowhere in 2018 was Croatian Peter Milas, who scored wins over Francesco Pianeta and Kevin Johnson. Can he step it up even further in 2019? The 6 foot 4 fighter has fast hands, decent skills and a good punch. He could again prove to be a dark horse and continue to surprise. If Milas is a dark horse, then wild swinging Russian knockout artist Rotislav Plechko just might be the wild card. He's become known for being the king of the first round KO. His high octane style involves coming forward and swinging for the fences. But he may find it harder and harder the higher that he goes in the division as the quality of opposition improves. But this fighter is a one man excitement machine. The unbeaten British prospect Nathan Gorman has largely been in stablemate Daniel Dubois' shadow until recently, but he's rightly building up a reputation as a man to watch with his fast hands and solid technical ability. The 22 year old is calling for bigger fights now and is supremely confident he will beat Daniel Dubois if they ever fight, taking confidence from previous sparring sessions. His promoter Frank Warren is talking of a stadium fight down the line for the duo, but it remains to be seen if that fight gets made. Some doubts do remain about Gorbin's power and stamina, but he does have above average skills for a heavyweight and some of the fastest hands in the division. A Ukrainian who is starting to make some waves is Vladislav Serenko, who has mostly been fighting out of South Africa. Serenko has good skills and good power, including a razor sharp left hook. He was recently in Alexander Povetkin's training camp ahead of the Anthony Joshua fight. Other names on the rise to look out for in 2019 are Alexander Teslenko, Jermaine Franklin, Mladen Malas, Bakadir Jalilov, Yevgeny Tyshenko, Michael Polite Coffey, Alexander Zokozy, and Guido Vianello. Others coming through will no doubt also start staking a case in 2019 as ones to watch. Who are you impressed by and who is going to become a champion? And who's going to shock the world? Let me know. Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.